Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have an exciting update into the regards of a possible potential Loki 3 actually happening. We have an update from the producer themselves. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video, we are going to be taking a read from the Direct's article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. Loki producer Kevin Wright gave MCU fans an update on whether Tom Hiddleston's hit Disney Plus show could move ahead onto a season three in the near future. Disney initially started producing these MCU shows on Disney Plus with the plan to focus on limited shows running for only one or maybe two seasons at most. This strategy has now been adjusted to produce more multi-season seasonal kind of TV shows that will run several seasons actually, which is a great concept and something that they definitely should take on. And while Loki was only initially planned for a two season story, Kevin Wright, the producer, will still believe that a season three is on the table for Loki 3 being something to happen in the near future. Even telling fans that he would love to keep telling stories with this team if given the opportunity. And so, Loki producer Kevin Wright spoke recently with TVLine.com about the possibility of the show continuing on and moving on into a season three following season two's conclusion in November, just last month. While he doesn't want to rush into season 3 necessarily, if the story isn't good of course, which please, I would hope that you know you guys would actually have a story uh, for us that, that would be good and that would be worth it uh, at the same time there as well, he sees an opportunity to continue these adventures, whether it be in a specific third season of Loki or in another spin-off akin to maybe like something like similar to Breaking Bad's Better Call Saul. He says that in quote, for two seasons I've loved working with this team. I would love to keep telling those stories with them in this world. I don't think any of us would ever want to rush into a season 3 if there's just not a good story to tell though. But I think that this team could go off and tell other stories. Maybe it's not necessarily Loki season 3. Maybe there's something that we can continue to do with the TVA and it's more of like our better call Saul to Loki's Breaking Bad. That would be cool to me. I need that quote right there. A perfect way to explain it quite quite really is like if, if, if you aren't familiar with what Breaking Bad and that whole universe is really about, it's just a continuation. It's like a, a spinoff. It would be kind of just taking the story of Loki and continuing it on in like Thor 5 pretty much. So kind of just giving it a spinoff, a spinoff to the show. However, Kevin Wright, the producer, also made it clear, loud and clear, that he doesn't know the future of these characters in the MCU necessarily, telling the outlet that his early ideas for a possible potential potential Loki season 3 are him saying that he would love to do it with new episodes simply. The producer does feel that he'll have plenty of other filmmakers wanting to join him in telling more Loki stories considering how people have really enjoyed this story. He says that in a quote, but I think with how people have really enjoyed this story that other filmmakers are going to want to come in and continue to tell stories in this world. That would be my hope. I need that quote right there. Now, of course, you're going to want to have everybody's going to want to you know, get in on the action with Loki and want to work on this show and work you know, on a Disney Plus show, I think, for another, especially for how, how great Loki is as an overall show, like critically acclaimed and the fans love it, both of those. But I do kind of have a false hope of that. Like that's where that's where the trouble comes in. Like then you're going to have these filmmakers coming in and then there's just like not a good story to tell and then all of a sudden they're rushing into it and they're telling a Loki season 3 that this doesn't have a good story or something that's just not worth telling. Now while there is no specific conversations about whether Loki season 2 would be Hiddleston's exit from the MCU necessarily, he's explained himself of what it was talked about and that this was season 1 as well, was like let's treat this like it is. Approaching it in this way forced everybody involved to bring their best, should it be the only opportunity that they got to build something, so they went into it to make this as fulfilling as possible. He says that in quotes, That isn't because we want to end the story, but it forces all the filmmakers involved to really bring their all and bring their best. If this is the only opportunity that we would get to work together to build something, let's make it as fulfilling as possible, and if there's more to tell down the road, we can do it ending that quote right there. And I really just believe that to be into the sense of like, okay, this is like a limited series. Let's go into it like with, with everything that we've got kind of kind of mindset going into it, much rather than, oh, we plan to do this for multiple seasons. We'll get to a peak moment with this overall project and this overall show later down the road, essentially. So kind of something that they wouldn't fall into that trap of. Anyway, this is all being said, where and when could Loki return in the MCU? Whether or not it is with Loki season three or another project. 
Looking ahead uh, to Marvel's plans for upcoming Disney Plus shows, it's clear that the studio intends to change course and give their characters more room to shine over multiple season arcs. This is something recent and something that I'd like to discuss here on the channel in a separate future video here on the channel. All the more reason to grab that subscribe button if you haven't already. But multiple season arcs overall, like instead of just having those limited shows of just having one to two episodes with this kind of episodic format or formula almost to it, where it's strictly six to eight episodes and it's one season. And and that's all you're getting it just isn't fulfilling for fans necessarily and that there's needs to be more to expand on with these characters give the give these give us fans more of a reason to want to to know more about these characters and want to care more about these characters this is also into reference of something that the miss marvel star iman Vellani said herself as well we need to have more seasons of these shows and have these characters involved in more projects and having them more uh, popping up more frequently maybe it's in other projects as well to really get us to to garner up and really care more about these characters, especially for when it comes to the next Avengers movies. And while shows like WandaVision are kind of already confirmed to stay one season endeavors, that was something that did give us a fulfilling conclusion overall, the idea will not be one considered nearly as often for heroes that have a chance of years of growth through multiple seasons of adventures, like Season 3 of Loki or Moon Knight I think is a great example. But as if for WandaVision into those regards, that is something that falls underneath the category of the Better Call Saul to what Breaking Bad is, essentially, as into the sense of, like, WandaVision is like Breaking Bad, and the Agatha Diaries of Darkhold Diaries, I think, is what the current title is. They keep changing the title on that one, but, yeah, kind of having that as the spinoff uh, overall. Anyway, 2024 Deadpool 3 is said to utilize the multiverse more than any MCU movie to date. Not only is it the next MCU movie, but it's the only MCU movie releasing next year, 2024. And with Owen Wilson rumored to join the party as Mobius in Deadpool 3, Loki could be brought on to the story as well, to help explain things to Marvel Studios' newest anti-hero, and start to really bridge those gaps between all of the different projects. On top of that, Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars could give Loki even more of a path towards redemption, giving the Avengers any insight that he can on Kang, should he still be an ultimate big bad at that time, which he probably will. Overall, I love them all. This this mindset that they're thinking of, and the idea of multiple season shows for Disney Plus becoming more and more of a thing, more in the conversation, more of an idea, and also for the other thing of what the producer Kevin Wright had said himself about. Well, if there's a good story to tell, then we want to do season three of Loki. It's just a matter of if, when, and where type of scenario, really. Overall, but the the I think the prospects of season three being greenlit and becoming you know to fruition over on Disney Plus is a definite, especially given how how the fans and the critics love it but this year all being said guys i would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below what are you guys looking forward to seeing with the future of the mcu with loki in the future of the mcu and a possible potential season three of loki i would love to hear what you guys are all thinking in the comment section down below thanks so much for watching today's video of course this has been an official mcu i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great one peace out